Hello everyone, we're going to be going over the better piston mechanic now. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. One thing I'm going to be needing is a sign. So I'm going to go to my decorations, I believe. And I'm going to get myself a sign. And first piston I'm going to show you is the crush piston. So you're going to need a piston with a redstone connection. So what you're going to want to do is go to the piston and put a sign on it. And you're going to want to call it well, you, on the second line, in brackets, you're going to want to say crush, just like that, and hit done. And now, as you can see, the piston crush mechanic has been created, and what this will do is it will crush the blocks for you and make it into a natural floating object that you can, in return, pick up. Now, this could be useful for a number of things, such as, um, let's say you want to create a farm of some sort that automatically creates these blocks, and you wanted it to break it when you get there, so you don't have to break it you could use it for that. So now let's move on to the next one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the bounce piston. So this will make it so you can bounce an object a certain height. So to get started we're going to want to do the same thing we did before by putting a sign on it going to the second line but instead we're going to want to put bounce just like that. And then here you could either leave it blank or put the uh, height level that you would like it to bounce. So just for this demonstration I'm going to put 6. For most of these, if you're able to put your own number, it's going to be a minimum of 2 and a maximum of 10. So it says the piston bounce mechanic has been created. So I'm going to put a block right on there, flip the lever, and watch it bounce up in the air. It went somewhere in the air. Oh, there it is. 6 must be... For this, it must mean how much times the regular distance, so I'm going to show you regular distance and see if that's what's up. So we're going to put BO ounce just like this and leave it at that, launch it into the air and it goes that high. So yeah if you put a number there it is going to multiply that not just the actual height. So now let's move on to the next one. Next up I'm going to show you the super sticky so you're going to need a sticky piston for this and a redstone output so I'm going to put a sign on here just like I did with the previous ones this one I'm going to call super super sticky and I'm going to give it a value of something simple like four and I'm going to put a block not that I'm going to put a block a few blocks away and show you that it will affect it so it should drag it in just like that. So that is how the whoa, that is how the super sticky works. And I think the minimum is 2 and the maximum is 10. I could be wrong at some things. There'll be a link to the wiki in the description. So now let's move on to the next one. The next one is going to be super push. So I'm going to put a sign here just like I did with the other ones. But this one, instead of super sticky, I'm going to call it super push. And just like the other one, I believe the minimum is 2 and the maximum is 10, so I'm going to put 7 just for fun. And I'm going to show you that it will push it out as far as that number. So it's going to push it out 1, and it's going to continue to push it out until it gets to the maximum number that you set. So I could even put ones in between there and show you that that's going to work. And it's going to push both of them out simultaneously at the same time until I get to the maximum which one of them will stop, the other one will run into the other one, but just right there. So that is going to be seven blocks away, and that is the new piston mechanic, not new, but is that is the piston mechanic in Craftbook. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.